When we think of scientific research, we think of the large-scale technology, satellites, electronics, particle colliders. But there is another area of science, the small and the organic, which inquires into things like the science of mosquitoes. It is just in this area of scientific inquiry that UWI St. Augustine's Professor Dave Chady has made his mark. A parasitologist and entomologist, he has studied the biology, genetics, and disease-carrying potential of mosquitoes. His work has had a global impact and is sought by the International Panel on Climate Change, the World Health Organization, and many foreign institutions. This research started not in the academy, but in the field, in the Ministry of Health in Trinidad and Tobago. I have to thank the Ministry of Health um, for the opportunity they gave me. Um, so my, my work there was at entomologist, parasitologist at Insect Vector Control Division where I ran the laboratory. I do recall um, one year we had a rather steep rise uh, in the uh, early 2000, 2001, 2002, and it probably is the, is the biggest rise in dengue disease in this country. And they fashioned um, our response, the vector control response, which was a national enormous response. And we, we managed that year. And um, so much so that the following years it dropped from 6,000 to about three and four and 500. His pursuit of this knowledge has led him to places not ordinarily associated with scientific research. We did another project uh, on Ur Uriah Butler Highway. We spent a couple years there looking at the highway as a potential barrier to mosquito movement. Because these mosquitoes don't usually go very far. So we surveyed mosquitoes up and down the highway uh, multiple times a year for two years, like I said, and then we did genotyping on them and we looked to see are the mosquitoes on the east side of the road genetically the same as the mosquitoes on the west side of the road. And what we found is there was evidence that they, they don't cross. But the uses to which this simple seeming research is put are not local. The Intergovernmental Plan on Climate Change is a very selective process that tries to get the best scientists around the world in particular areas to do the assessment of climate change. Um, also, the acceptance by the World Health Organization as an international expert from whom they, they, they seek advice. Um, um, the International Atomic Energy Agency as well, he has um, grants from there. It's also a collaborator um, with uh, University of Alabama on um, work funded by the Bill and Linda Gates Foundation as well. Um, which extends outside of Trinidad and Tobago into Southeast Asia as well. This early work was a career in itself, but after 20 years, Professor Chedi moved into academia. At UWI St. Augustine, he made his presence felt as a researcher, teacher, and a collaborator with foreign institutions. I was doing operational research for over 20 years. It was time to impart knowledge and teach a new generation of people who would become um, researchers in entomology or whatever field. He made his presence felt immediately in the life sciences department as a researcher and a teacher. He won awards for his research and introduced new programs like the Masters in Public Health program in Trinidad in conjunction with the University of Alabama. Professor Chedi is the most prolific author in the Department of Life Sciences and this happens to be the largest department at the St. Augustine campus. In fact, he has a, a, quite a body of work that incorporates uh, more than 200 published papers in journals. For someone who has been here for a relatively short time, by all, by all comparative standards, he has done outstandingly well. He's not this closeted, isolated scholar who is simply working quietly at his own and doing good work. He has broaden his reach. The early work has become important in unexpected ways, as in climate change. My research on climate change has um, really started with looking at rainfall, the effects of rainfall. And a lot of people were telling me, but you're doing climate related research. And I never thought that it was climate related. And then finally, I realized that yes, this is climate variability. So. I then started examining dengue and uh, the impacts of the different seasons on dengue and dengue transmission. But despite these prodigious achievements, 
there are still things that elude Professor Chedi. My research is applied in most parts of the world uh, and the, prob the problem is that it's very seldom applied in Trinidad. <laughs> it's really funny because I've also developed a strategy which will break transmission of dengue within a week of an outbreak and still not being implemented in Trinidad. For his ability to undertake original research for the benefit of Caribbean people and to make that research available to the world, Professor Dave Chady has been named the Anthony N. Sabga Caribbean Awards for Excellence Laureate in Science and Technology for 2013.